What's up you guys? Today I'll be carving a pumpkin with only one tool. You, you me. How's it going everyone? So today I'm going to be carving Pennywise on my pumpkin. It's crazy to think that we only have once a year to really practice and carve a pumpkin. So this is going to be pretty rough. And without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so first things first, I decided to draw into the pumpkin with a sketch. I use a ballpoint pen. Any ballpoint pen should work. I don't recommend any gel pens because if there's a lot of ink, it's gonna smear all over the pumpkin. And if there were any mistakes, I pretty much used hand sanitizer and a piece of paper towel to dab and clean the spots uh, where the pen marks are in order to erase any mistakes that I've did. Now to talk about it, I really enjoyed the movie. Surprisingly, the movie was not as scary as I thought it would be. I like the idea of having young children being the protagonist because it's adventurous and very refreshing compared to having just adults being the protagonist. I definitely enjoyed the 80s vibe to it, sort of like Stranger Things, and I think that's the cool thing about it. And to talk about Pennywise, he's such a creepy clown. He appears in sewers and it's kind of creepy, especially with his stare. He has this evil stare where his eyebrows has that evil V-shaped huge forehead and crazy bunny tooth. And his smile is just insanely creepy. Once I finished drawing, I then gutted my pumpkin. My idea of cutting the top of the pumpkin was that I wanted to cut it at a 45 angle degree just to make sure that there's an angle to the top so that when you put it on it, it'll just lay nicely. All right, and this part was probably one of the worst parts of this process. I really didn't enjoy having to gut out the pumpkin because it was a lot of gooiness and it just felt really weird. Now that the drawing's finished and we've gutted out the inside of the pumpkin, uh, we're basically just gonna start carving the pumpkin. I gotta be honest, this is actually really difficult. So I started from the eyes because they were more detailed and I wanted to be well done before I move on to anything else. And I continue to work with facial features and details just to make sure that the foundation is strongly established. So at this point I shaved part of Pennywise's skin just to make sure that the light would be able to pass through when I lighted the pumpkin. So I did go in with my exacto knife to carve in more of the textures on the face because I wanted to have a little more texture for more interest and I thought that would be a little cool. And this process is pretty much straightforward, I don't think I need to explain anything further. So let's roll the time lapse.
so after spending hours on this pumpkin, I'm finally finished. And I'm really proud of myself for it. I added the light into the pumpkin. And now, we're ready for the montage. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a huge thumbs up, smash that like button, and make sure to share this video with a friend. And last but not least, make sure to subscribe. And I hope you guys have a happy Halloween. I know it's coming up very, very soon. So make sure you guys stay safe. And other than that, live life creatively.